This is printer ink. It's Rico printer ink. And I got this absolutely free. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we are in the Commonwealth cabin, me and Sophie. But Sophie just decided to get up like she always does whenever we do a video. You want to go? Is that what you want? All right, so I come home and this is the way I found my dog here. So that means Reagan's been having some fun with poor Sophie, huh? And you've been sitting in here with me getting ready to prep this stuff forever, sleeping. And now I'm doing the video so she wants to go. All right, I'll tell you what, this is a little inside baseball here. One of the hard, this sounds really silly. One of the hard things for me is to come up with a title for every video. <laughs> but this one wasn't hard at all. And I'm like, oh, I could call, I'm like, no, wait a minute. Here's, it. and I just kept switching it. So I've got three working titles and I actually just thought of a fourth. So you're probably seeing this one. This is why I tell people I'm a reseller. There's a few more like, uh, I wish this didn't sell because there's a couple things that you'll notice are gone. That used to be up there and that are now down here a couple things that i had in my backdrop that are no longer in my backdrop had a couple of drop shippers and i could have titled it something about drop shipping had some big items that sold and are a little bit difficult to package but still to me well worth the money originally i was going to title it ebay can be a disappointment and it can be for sure and i had a couple of things that disappointed me a little bit yesterday my oldest boy does the testing of a lot of my electronics. Well, I had a stack. I had 12 VCRs or VCR, v, you know, VHS, DVD combos. And he was in there testing them and he brought a stack of six of them out and said they didn't work. I said, you have got to be kidding me. There's 12 in there. You're telling me half of them don't work? He's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, come on. I'm like, tell me what's wrong. He told me what was wrong with each one, and I went through a couple of them, and sure enough, exactly what he said, I guess I don't trust him, I don't know, is what was wrong with them. So typically out of a stack of 12, there would be one, maybe two, that I'd have to get rid of or sell as is for parts. But there were six, which is a disappointment. That's going to really take a big cut out of the profits that we had. We'll still make money on that, but it really won't be worth the time and effort we put into them. Plus, I got to pay them to test them. <laughs> All right, but we did sell some other stuff, and it's not a complete loss. We sold a bunch of stuff. I think last time I checked, we were over $700 in sales going out, although I think the last little bit I don't think we'll send out today. So let's take a look. Right, here is why I tell people I'm a reseller. This is printer ink. It's Rico printer ink. And I got this absolutely free. People that I know know I'm a reseller. And every once in a while, I get a little phone call or a message or an email or something saying, hey, I've got this. Do you want it? And I'll say, most time I say, yeah. Sometimes I say no, because it's not really worth my time, even if it's free. But these I went and grabbed. There's three different ones. And I listed them all separately. But one buyer bought all of them. And I paid $88 plus shipping. So I'm maybe 10 minutes worth of work into this max probably closer to 15. I got to come up with the right size box. I might have to do some Frankenboxing. And you know, we're going to make $75 on this deal in about 15 minutes. And that would never happen unless I told people what I did. This drop shipper's honest. Listen to this. Please email tracking ASAP. Please note that this is a drop ship order to our customer. Please do not include eBay. <laughs> <laughs> info in the package. Now that's honest. You know, everybody else knows the other folks are drop shippers. Just say, hey, I'm a drop shipper. I'm sending this out. Don't put this in there. I like that a lot better. What do you think? All right, here's a bit of a disappointment. I picked this up at a garage sale a long time ago. It is on a video, but it's been so long I couldn't tell you which one. I put it, I, I bought it for a dollar. And I'm like, man, what a steal. I'm gonna make like 50, $100 off of this deal because this is a pretty nice model. It's a pretty cool looking one. Plus it had the box. It has paperwork and all kinds of stuff inside. I'm like, this is awesome. Took it out, it doesn't work. And so I sat it up there forever and I'm like, you know, it's time to get this thing sold as is for parts. And I did. Sold it for $25 plus shipping as is for parts, not working. Bought a PS2 the other day and had some PS1 games in the lot. Paid $30 for the PS2 and controllers, the whole setup, a bunch of games and a couple of PS1 games, and this one sold for $10 plus shipping, so it's already eating away at our initial cost. 
bought a bunch of uh, Super Nintendo games not too long ago. None of them are great, but it was five bucks. Sophie's back in here in case you hear her on the floor. I just let her in the door. Now, I don't know what she's doing, but I think she wants some attention now. Anyway, any rate, this is a, a WrestleMania arcade game. It's called WrestleMania Arcade Game. And it's a little beat up, but it is tested. It is working, and it sold for $4 plus shipping. It's the only game out of that whole lot that was even worth putting on eBay, and it's barely worth putting on eBay. But it did have a Game Shark thing with it that we sold for $15, which covered our cost, gave us a profit. So this is pure profit after fees and after shipping. Plus, I've got like seven games to sell in my booth. Probably going to get about $21 to $24 out of those. All right, here it is. You have seen this for a long, long time. I had a different one that was up in the eBay cave for a long time, but I eventually sold that. I had found another one at a garage sale for $2, and I bought it up, and, you know, it had cracking on it. So I had to put this one. I think the last one we sold for really good money. This one has crack here, crack here. It's got two more cracks over here. You know, and the bottom's actually in fairly good condition for these because that's the roughest area on them. So I put it out there a little bit less. I have a lot of staining up here that was really hard to get out. And it's just been sitting up there for a long, long time. I know Rideshare Reseller out there always talks about the Igloo Cooler. He used to talk about the Flow because it wasn't listed. Now he teases me about this because it wasn't listed. Well, I decided finally to list it and it sold two days later, $47 plus shipping. If you find these in great condition, I think I'd list them for $80 plus shipping. And you just gotta find the right size box, fold them down, put it in it. Really doesn't take anything at all because it's not gonna get damaged too bad. All right, I bought this at a sale and it was a big bundle. So I may be into it for a couple of bucks. Hey, look at that. Still got the wrapping paper on it. I didn't even notice that. And I took a picture and put it on eBay. <laughs> Unless I took a picture of the other side, which is entirely possible. At any rate, that's kind of funny. That happens a lot. My dad is notorious for that. He'll, he won't even open the whole Christmas present. He'll like leave it half opened and then put it over there. And then he'll get it out later. Anyway, compact disc case. Still, it's brand new. You know, it's got a little damage on it, but nothing terrible. It's just an old school CD case. And people love collecting this stuff. I have some Napa Valley CD cases over here that I picked up not too long ago. I love selling them in my antique booth, but you can also sell them on eBay. I said in that video when I'm talking to myself or talking to you in the camera on Commonwealth Picker, I said, you know what, out of all this stuff that's pretty cool, this will be worth the most. I picked up a bunch of stuff, nothing high dollar, but I'm like, this one will sell for the most amount of money. I said, it wouldn't surprise me if it went for $40. Well, it didn't go for $40, but it did go for $33 plus shipping, and somebody wrote something on this one. They say, important, please package the item very carefully in a sturdy box to protect it from getting damaged during shipping. Thank you for the trouble. And I will be sure to leave positive feedback if all goes well, if all goes well. Hey, that reminds me of something. I've got a few messages lately. Actually, I've got a ton of messages lately, but I've only got to a few and they were questions about shipping and Amber Vision's Corning wear, and they had a break and all that kind of stuff. Look, that stuff is tough to package up. I have had breaks in the past, and I've been doing this a long time. So double boxing some of those, if, if a lot of you folks are out there doing that uh, Corning wear, it definitely takes some serious packaging up, double boxing if need be, and sometimes even that doesn't quite do the trick. So don't get too discouraged with it. Just use it as a learning experience and keep getting better at it. All right, had a sale of this. I believe it's an elk. I think Jägermeister is an elk. It's pretty cool. It's a shot glass, and it sits here, so I can do it like that on the antlers. And I picked this up for a dollar at a yard sale. It was the very last one I went to one day, and I didn't think I'd find anything. I mean, it looked like a ghost town at the sale. It had all these mats and tables, and there was nothing left on it. So they had some great stuff, I'm sure, and sold it all off. But this was still there, and then they had a free box, which I found a remote, and I'm like, hey, I'm just going to pick this stuff up, make a little bit of money off of it. This sold for $12.95 plus shipping, and it sold to a viewer slash YouTube creator and a really, really good friend of the program and a supporter of our channel. So let me read what he puts, and then I'm going to show you his channel over here. He says, hey, Kevin, so I was in your store browsing and came across this unique shot glass and had to get it as a gift. 
Kim and I have been truly enjoying your videos lately. Say hello to Blue Ridge Mama and the homeschool hustlers from us. Take care and be safe. Your friends from South Texas, Roy and Kim at RK Treasure Center. So Roy and Kim, thank you so much. Kim, I don't know how you put up with him. I tell you, I watch his videos uh, almost, not every day because he doesn't put them out, but almost every video you put out we've got over here on our TV in the Commonwealth Cabin. So we appreciate it, and this is headed your way. All right, there they are. There's RK Treasure Center, Roy and his better half, Kim. There you go. So if you haven't subbed over there, go ahead and do it. All right, have an exact change sale. And this is the lot, the big lot of pipes. We've sold a few lots off and some singles. And I sold another single today, actually. But this is the lot that we sold off. And it was only on there for a couple days before it sold. And this, I think there's 20 or somewhere around there. Vintage pipes, you know, estate pipes. And most of them are Graybo. And they sold for $125 plus shipping on that and that was from the exact change sale and then i'm going to show you another one inside when we go inside in a minute and i want to show you the total on the exact change sale so far 50 dollars buy after fees after shipping and everything we're up to 730 dollars profit when i add the 105 profit from that it's 125 but you got to take away you know the fees um, which is a little it's not quite that much but just i like to use round numbers because i teach history not math and then a swiss pipe in there sold for 40 dollars. but i'm going to talk about it inside and our total 730 dollars from that exact chain sale and we still have a few pipes left that you can see right there and a few more other things we bought like where is it like this guy right here this brazil nut thing of a jigger i don't even know what it is all right, we have a gift and we have one more sale back here. And this is a sale that you're going to see here pretty quick. And I ended up buying this Sylvania TV almost against my better judgment, but it is one of the really small ones. And I think we can package this one up absolutely no problem whatsoever and make some quick money. Paid $5 and it has a remote, which is the reason I picked it up and now I don't see the remote all of a sudden. It's probably attached to the back knowing myself. Let me look. Yeah, there it is. So here's a little trick I do is I rubber band the remote to the cord in the back because I lose everything. <laughs> anyway, this guy is going out and it sold for $70 plus shipping for this one right here. And they can be a little bit of a pain to package, but this one's not. It's not very big. People shy away from selling this. I know Pete Craigslist Hunter used to sell a bunch, and so did John Cincinnati Picker, and I think they're both out of the business. They're like, forget it. <laughs> I'm still the crazy one still doing it. And it's because the insides, you can't secure the insides of these. And sometimes they're working when you send them out of here, but by the time they get where they're going, they don't always work. I've had two returns of TVs over the years, but I've probably sold 25 of them. So I think in the end, it's worth the money. All right, and a gift from a viewer, and we're gonna head inside to the eBay cave after that. By the way, there are a couple here and then some more in my car. So if you sent me something, we are getting to it, I promise. Check this one out, the Catamount, which by the way, the Puma, the Mountain Lion, the, the Cougar, they're all the same thing, just FYI. <laughs> my wife tells me about that all the time. I don't know, she watches too many nature shows, I think. Anyway, that is an awesome one, and I love the colors, and we are going to find a great spot for that one. And it was sent to us by Josh. He says his eBay seller name is The Dude VT. <laughs> I love it. Vermont, not Virginia Tech, for you tech fans around uh, Virginia here. He says, I saw this while out picking local free piles. Saw it and thought of you. I know you already got a Vermont plate, but this one was a Vermont Catamount. There you go. I wanted to say thank you for answering my various questions. And also constantly picking up old Tupperware and watching you sell it. Helps me get the wife on, but okay, because she doesn't mind going out and looking for Tupperware, huh? Thank you for all you do. You're a great teacher. Thank you so much. So it says, also threw in a new garbage pail kit. Back to school cards for you since I'm going back to school. This is like part-time pickers over there. He's making a fortune off of garbage pail kids. If I only knew back in the day, right? I didn't collect garbage pail kids. Let me know if you did in the comments. But my buddy did, boy. He had bunches and bunches and bunches of them. This is from 2020. So it's the new versions of them. So at any rate, I'll look through those. Thanks so much. I had Cheryl pick up this pipe and an Inaman. So let me read what she writes here. She says, hi, Kevin. I am finally giving in and getting one for my eBay store. 
Dragonfly Attic Treasures. I would greatly appreciate an autographed misfit. I gotta remember to do that, mental note. The gorgeous pipe is for my Tabakiana collection. We love watching the whole family, including the furry ones. You can have, you can have boots. You just let me know. Send me your, oh, I have your address. Well, boots is coming with this thing right here. I think she'll, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna do that. I would want to, but I'm not gonna do that. Including the furry ones, keep doing what you are doing, Cheryl. So just Cheryl, thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. And this is an awesome looking pipe and it is headed your way. And it was, uh, I think this one was 40. I gotta look on there, but I think it was $40. I have an man going out to Adrian. I think it's Adriana. It might be Adrian. My apologies if I messed that one up. Raymond and to Luis. And I think Luis left a message. Let me read it to you. Yep, he says, love watching the Commonwealth Picker and Flipper. Thank you for all the tips and tricks. Let's check out his store. Let's see if I got this right. Luis, T-O-R-0007 is my username. Hoping the inner man brings me luck. Thank you again, sir. So, Luis, thank you. I really do appreciate it. And this Animan is headed your way. And I'm sure he's going to bring you great luck. They always do, you know. And Reagan is at gymnastics, but she told me that uh, she's not going to be home in time to do the video. So I'm passing on a thank you to Travis for buying one of her mugs and to Marsha, Red Cardinal Treasures, who is always supporting our channel. Who I think bought a mug and, and Reagan, if I read her note right, also got a sticker from us. So they'll package them up. That might be a day or two delayed. She has Wednesdays off, so you'll see this on Thursday and we'll hopefully get that out to you. And one more message that I apparently missed the other day and I felt bad about it, so I'm gonna read to you real quick. And it is really long and I'm not gonna read the whole thing. I really would, but my wife says I'm not allowed to read things that make me sound good. So most of this makes me sound good, so I'm not gonna read it. It's from Kevin and Nicole, retired law enforcement officer of 25 years. Back in February 2019, sustained a career-ending injury and was laid up in the hospital bed for 17 weeks as a result. And it goes on a little bit, but basically had to accept that he couldn't uh, go back to work. And he says he stumbled across my YouTube channel and began watching immediately and was drawn to a bunch of things about it that I can't say my wife doesn't let me brag about myself so she's she's good about that <laughs> she says it's not true anyways uh, at any rate my wife Nicole agreed and started our little eBay business Jess Risa is it let's see it's GES Gilkey Elite Services GES dash resale on eBay so thank you so much and you go on for a while and I have read it and uh, it is awesome and thank you so much for passing that on it encourages me and i hope you all are having fun out there i know things are, there's ups and downs on ebay for sure and there's disappointments i've got some messages about negative feedback hey i get negative feedback it happens you know when you sell tons and tons of stuff it's bound to happen it's not the end of the world it doesn't affect things you know so maybe i'll do a video about negative feedback here coming up fairly quick in the next month or so and I actually had some negative feedback lately that I was able to get rid of. Um, and there's a, it's a different process than I used to go through. So I'll make a little video about that. So thank you all so much. We're going to go back out there. But I'm going to say goodbye from in here. And we will see you next time. Hey, me and Turner are in here doing some shipping. And we almost forgot we didn't do a video, did we? Yeah. Hey, what is that thing? Um, a Furby. It's a Furby. It's a modern Furby. And those things are really cool. Yeah. But there's no batteries in it, so yeah. we can't show you. Yeah. <laughs> you know how much that sold for? Um... $10? $40 plus shipping. shipping. That's awesome, huh? Yep. You want to say goodbye? Bye. And look, there's my Commonwealth sign up there, y'all. I love it right there. Yeah.